today I'm out here and we're gonna try to catch some shiner uh, specifically the striped shiner and the horny head chub. Today I'm gonna share you a special dish that I grew up eating that my mom always made for us and taught me how to cook it too so I want to be able to share that with you. Yes we are eating shiners so come along and join me you don't want to miss this. Alright guys it is extremely hot but let's see if I can catch any chubs here for you to see these shiners. I can see them all kind of all in front of me. Let's go! Yeah, nice one too. Look at that. The head is a little pointy. They're very similar to the horny head, but these guys are called a stripe shiner. Such a cool fish. There you go. That's a nice one. These are some aggressive male. <laughs> Look at this guy. He is red or pink, whatever. Colorful fish. They gotta be some of the coolest fish ever, man. They use these little horns on their forehead to uh, hit each other, I believe. They even got some on, the, on its lip here. They are doing the thing out here. There are like thousands of them. They're fighting. It looks like the male are fighting. Oh yeah, they are fighting each other. Holy jeez. That is so incredible to see. Oh yeah, got them. They are aggressive, dude. They're so colorful. Look at that. Let's go. We got a nice one here, dude. Look at that guy. He is dark and pink. This is their spawning color, I believe, and their, their head just filled with thorn. Look at that. Perfect, perfect eating size. Oh, got one. And this is a horny head, horny head chub. Look at that. Very muscular in body. Tons of meat on them. They got a bunch of horn on their head here. Oh, got a female. I'll let the female go. The female are white, more of a pale color to them. More slender body, big belly. These shiners are even pulling my drag. <laughs> It's crazy. It's great to be out here just catching them on light tackle. Ton of fun. Let's catch a few more and then we're gonna head to the kitchen and do some cooking. I'm gonna pour the fish into the aluminum foil here. All seasoning with salt, a little bit of dry chili pepper, and a little bit of lime leaf here. Basil with mint. Mint as well. I love mint. Garlic leaf, you can add that. A little bit of cilantro, add a little bit of the eggplant here. Real nice. And then just kind of add it in there. And then last but not least, your pepper. We're basically just gonna fold it. Nothing fancy, you can just kind of launch it up here into creating like a little bowl, a little, a little basket. You just kind of fold it together. And then that's gonna go into the pot. And it's pretty much gonna create some liquids inside with the meat. And it's gonna go real good with sticky rice. Just sit it on top of the basket like that. Now the meat is in the basket. You wanna cook it to the point where it's uh, soft. The meat is soft, the bone is soft, and you don't have to worry about eating bones or scales, or whatever. All that stuff is just gonna start to melt in your mouth. Let's cut to the chase and let's eat. All right, it's time to eat. A little bit of sticky rice. Let's dig in. So basically, with clean hands, I'm gonna mush some sticky rice here and we're gonna try the bra first. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. It's so flavorful. No fishy smell to it. And guys, whew. Let's try the meat here. Ooh, it's hot. Striped shiner. Oh! It's almost like trout. Like So a little bit of a sticky rice. Mmm, lemongrass and ginger, cilantro and the onion. Dip a little bit of sauce here. Mmm, 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 mmm. Man, if you haven't had shiners before or horny head creek chub, steam, oh man, it is so good. They have a lot of meat, seriously. Gosh, it just melts in your mouth. Let's 
into this pepper right here. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. It is like super refreshing. A little bit of the eggplant here. Mmm. I don't know what else to say. Got the horny head chub here. Give it a go. Mmm. <laughs> that pepper really kicked me in the butt, but it's all good. The pepper just makes it go to the next level. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy the video, and I will see you on the next adventure.